an erroneous news report that sparked a brief 10% rally in Bitcoin is shining a spotlight on a crypto industry that's waiting with bated breath for the arrival of mass market ETFs to revitalize its fortunes. On Monday morning, a rally in a token was quickly reversed after a news report incorrectly asserted that BlackRock Inc. had received the green light to launch a spot a concern of its change trade and fund in the cryptocurrency. While the news may have been bogus, the money at stake was very real. Data from Tracker CoinLash shows that more than $85 million worth of trading positions, most ins from traders who were betting on lower prices, were liquidated over the past 24 hours. While misinformation is par for the course for an industry beloved by fraudsters and digital advocates alike, uh, the episode adds to the raging debate on whether the market has actually priced and their arrival of an exchange traded fund tracking the largest digital coin. It also underscores concerns held by regulators that retail investors lack basic protections in the fast and crypto wild west, a sticking point that has in past fueled the Securities and Exchange Commission's reluctance to broaden market access. The fake news about the Bitcoin ETF being approved highlights the challenge of protecting investors in an unregulated space that attracts shady operators and rampant speculation, said Michael O'Rourke, the chief market strategist at Jones Trading. Uh, Bitcoin jumped above 30,000 to its highest level uh, since July after a handful of uh, tweets propagating the unfounded moves pushed the price up. Uh, the coin then paired those gains uh, to trade around 28,300, just about where it had been uh, before the incident after BlackRock said its ETF application was still under review by regulators. Uh, this particular instance comes at a time of heightened expectations that a spot Bitcoin ETF will indeed soon be available to American investors. Uh, issuers have been uh, trying to get a U.S. spot Bitcoin ETF launched for about a decade now with no luck. Uh, regulators have cited market manipulation and scams as some of the reasons for past denials. Uh, but that hasn't deterred companies from uh, trying to tap into what potentially uh, and ultimately uh, could amount to billions of dollars of inflows. Uh, many issuers have over the years worked on their applications or on ways to appease regulators uh, with the hopes of getting such a, uh, such a fund off the ground. Uh, there are currently more than 10 outstanding applications for spot Bitcoin ETF and um, because BlackRock and other heavyweights, including Investo and Fidelity, are part of um, the current race, uh, many, many analysts believe the chances of approval are stronger. Um, Monday's frenzy also showcases that any potential approval hasn't yet been priced into the market. Given the swift 10% rise for Bitcoin, the crypto market is ripe for falls and starts giving up what's at stake is the opening up of crypto to a greater base of investors says Todd Sohn, ETF, and technical strategist, but strategic securities. And Bitcoin is still flat since March, uh, so I guess it's now fully priced in, said Sohn. If a fake headline was worth 6 to 10 percent, the real deal should equate to more. According to Sana Islam, Associate Director of Research at Vetify, agrees. And we we'll see a stronger, more sustained rally once spot that Bitcoin ETFs uh, are actually approved. She said that this morning's move was based on very uncertain news that was disproven soon after its release, so the market did not have to have adequate time to react.